good day everyone welcome back to crown geek in this video i will be sharing three method to reset windows 11 or 10 forgotten password without using any kind of software and without losing data now many people are stuck on their login screen on windows 10 and 11 they don't know the password and so they cannot enter into their computer so now the first method is very simple that you can quickly try now where it asks you the password you can type the password whichever you remember then hit the enter key then click on ok now here you will find the reset password option so if you get this option then click on it and sometime while installing your windows 10 or 11 you answer some kind of security question and if you remember the answer then you can quickly enter those answer over here and then you can follow the instruction to recover the password and reset the password all right, so you can try this option and in case if this work for you then you are good to go and if not then you have to cancel it and now let's move with the second method where you can see this accessibility icon that is on the right hand corner so right now if i click on it you will see some kind of accessibility menus and features coming up now what we have to do here we just need to convert this accessibility so that whenever we click on it it can bring up the command prompt for that from your keyboard you need to press and hold the shift key and while holding the shift key you need to click on this power icon that is on the very right hand corner at the bottom then while holding the shift key only click on restart and then click restart anyway and then you can leave the shift key and the computer will now be coming up in advanced options so you will see this kind of a screen that says please wait and then finally it will give you a blue screen with some kind of advanced options so once you come up here you have to click on troubleshoot then you have to click on advanced options then click on command prompt and now here you have to type c two dot hit the enter key then type cd space windows enter then type cd space system 32 and now we are in the system 32 folder of windows operating system so now here we have to rename some files so the first command will be ren space utilman dot exe space utilman one dot exe hit the enter key and then you have to type ren cmd dot exe space util man dot exe hit the enter key again and now we are all done and don't worry about the command these command you will also find in the description so once you are done type exit and get out of here then you have to click on continue so the system will be restarting again and once you are in the login screen at the right hand corner again you have to click on the accessibility icon and this time when you click on it it will bring up this command prompt page all right now here we have to run some kind of command so type control space user passwords and then number two hit the enter key and this kind of user password account page will be coming up now once you come here you will see your username your local account listed over here so if you have created multiple user account then you have to click on the right one for which you want to reset the password so click on it then click on reset password and now you can enter the new password over here and if you want to keep it blank if you don't want any password then keep both this option empty then click on ok and then click on ok again but in case if you don't find this reset password option highlighted then probably you are not using a local account and you are signed in with a microsoft account so in that case you will have to go to microsoft website to reset your microsoft account password this method is only applicable for the local account users so finally click on ok and then you can close it now again i don't have to enter any password here and if i hit the enter key so you can see that it will take me directly to my desktop without asking any kind of password so now once you are on the desktop you can go and right click on the windows icon then go in settings click on accounts and then you can click on sign in options and choose 
that what kind of option you want to keep if you want to reset the password again if you want to create a new password then you can add from here all right now but after doing this you also need to revert the action so that that accessibility icon should come with the accessibility menus only and not with the password so you just need to sign out of here and once you're on the login page again you have to press and hold the shift key and while holding the shift key you have to click on this power icon then click on restart click on restart anyway and the system will be restarting again with some advanced options and here again click on troubleshoot then click on advanced option then click on command prompt and then we just need to revert the action because we have successfully resetted the password so type here c two dot hit enter key cd space windows cd space system 32 hit the enter key and then you have to type ren space util man 1.exe space util man dot exe hit the enter key then you have to type ren space util man dot exe space cmd dot exe then type exit and hit the enter key then click on continue and now the system will be restarting in the normal mode and you can see that it's not asking for any kind of password and it directly took me to the account but still if i go and log it out all right so this was the best method now in case if it's asking you for the password to enter into the command prompt then finally you will need a windows 11 or windows 10 bootable usb or a flash drive in order to reset the password I have already created a video that how to make a Windows 11 bootable USB drive. You can watch that video in case if you do not have a bootable Windows 10 or 11 drive. And once you have created what you will have to do, you just need to insert that drive into your laptop or PC, restart your PC, and then you have to tap escape F9 or F10 key in order to enter the boot order section. Now this key can be different depending on your motherboard or operating system. So you can find that from the Google or you can manually try different keys like F2, Escape, Delete, F9 and F10. So once you enter the bio section, you have to go to the boot option. Then you have to look for the boot sequence, booting order. And then from there, you just need to select that particular bootable USB or flash drive and make it on the very top so that the next time when you restart the computer, it can boot with that particular USB or pen drive. And the next time when it will come up, it will come up with the Windows 10 or 11 installation wizard. So don't worry about it. So once, as soon as you see this kind of a screen, here you have to press Shift plus F10 key. All right, so once you come to this page, you need to press Shift plus F10 key, and then you will find this kind of black window. And once it comes up with the black window of command prompt, you need to enter the same command, apply the same method of method number two. All right, so that was the problem in the second method because uh, many users will be getting some kind of password to enter to the command prompt. So you can use this method to enter the command prompt and then apply the same steps as shared in the second method. So hopefully guys, this method will surely work for you in order to quickly reset your Windows 11, 10 forgotten password. And if you found this video helpful, do not forget to like and subscribe for any question. Let me know in the comment section. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.